What's up everyone, Gavin from Tempsog here and welcome back to the channel. Now today is the start of a brand new series. In fact, it's the start of a whole host of series. Because what we're gonna be doing is this is the first video we're gonna do. And then off of this video, there's gonna be loads of different offshoots of the things we're gonna do with what we're doing. It's something we haven't done on the channel for quite a while. Um, but I felt like it was time to go back to where this channel started really. Um, and that is with Subutio genuine heavyweight restorations. Now, behind me on the table, I've already started, okay? What we're gonna be doing is we have got behind me a Birmingham City, uh, Norwich, which is less of a restoration and more of a complete brand new team because it was absolutely knackered. We've got an AC Milan, we've got a Darlington, and we've got a Northampton. So there's gonna be like five different videos that are going to come off of this main hub video that we've got ourselves here Boom. that's what's going to happen five over there so what we're doing is going to be stripping these figures getting them out their bases most of them are already done we've got a couple of uh, tricky ones in there um but yeah so hopefully you're going to enjoy the ride um i don't know how long it's going to take because we have obviously got other things to do in between time with our frames our christmas baubles that we've got guys so remember if you want to get on those, get in touch, westwood.ts at gmail.com or visit the website www.westwoodtablesucker.uk and also if you follow me on Twitter you would have seen a sneaky little upload late last night because I was super excited, I was in a very very good mood, um, Leicester are two wins from two and played very very well yesterday, I was in a good mood so I uploaded some preview shots from our t-shirt supplier of our new t-shirts or some of our new t-shirts, I will show you these properly when they arrive. I'm super excited. But without any more talking for me, let's show you guys what we got going on down here. I'm holding the camera, which never normally happens, but I feel like you needed to uh, get this point of view. So over here, we've got the Norwich bases. They're pretty good. Oh, in fact, he needs to go in there. Um, got some hot water on the go. Um, so we've got some Norwich bases here, really, really good condition bases. Figures on the other hand, absolutely just another level of awful arms missing i mean i'm probably going to replace all of these with um new old figures so old heavyweight figures um but not those ones um ac milan again bases are in average condition probably do with cleaning up um but we'll try and get through that as well there's some of the figures that have survived that need to go into the strip tub so let's get them in there now get them out of the way um over here we've got our Northampton bases and figures. More of these survived actually, not bad, but let's get these bad boys into there. Over here we've got Darlington. Um, it's not a Ref 21 Leeds, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, this is an official re um, original Sputio team, very, very rare. Um, so these bad boys need to go in there. Got some bases as well, pretty bog standard, okay. Here are some figures that we're gonna be replacing. Um, this guy here, doesn't actually look too bad, but he has got snapped ankles. So get those boys into there. And then finally in here, we've just got some figures and bases. Pretty much all the Birmingham's didn't want to come out. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge. Um, so we're going to get on that now. Really, really important to guys. This water is hot, not boiling. Okay, it's actually gone fairly cold now. It's been there for a little bit of time. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try and get these boys out of these bases best I can um, already left back here is not playing ball with me at all Okay, so 
next stage to do with this then. So at the moment we've got all of our figures out, okay, of the bases. Those that we couldn't get out were in a pretty good position because we've got a lovely little box in the cupboard over there. A load of old bases, figures, etc, 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 which is probably what we're going to replace the Norwich figures with because, as I say, they're just not in a good way. We can use parts of them. Um, we'll probably end up using some of these. We've got a lot of arms there, head transplants that might be required at some point in the future. But what we're going to do now is get our good old friend, Mr. Muscle, out. Okay, there are other brands of oven cleaner available, as we've been over before. But there is this stuff. And this time, ladies and gentlemen, correct PPE. I've got some gloves. I've got me a face mask. So what we need to do is we need to get these figures into the strip, put the Mr. Muscle on them, leave them there for, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes, maybe even an hour, get these bad boys cleaned up, and then we can move on to... The next stages of the video okay so okay mask is on see um what we're gonna do get these little beauties covered up and uh yeah we'll uh come back to you when we get to washing Also, key to note, window is open. Let's do this. Gloves on. Mask on. Let's go take these bad boys downstairs and let's strip that paint off. last few figures in this strip there. These are the ones we're going to use on Norwich. Now traditionally Subutio would have used flesh plastic figures for a Norwich. Um, but you guys know me, I hate flesh plastic players. They don't make colours look good, especially yellow. Um, but yeah, we're not sure we're going to paint it back into a Norwich yet. Um, as we said, I've already got a Norwich um, in my collection and I plan on keeping these um, restored ones. These teams and these bases etc are big parts of um, my Subutio sort of story, my journey so far, I guess, in terms of Subutio, um, they're part of my collection. So I want to make them something special in my collection, um, which is part of the reason why I'm going to keep the Darlington and the Northampton exactly the same, except painted properly and better, because I wanted those two teams in my league, and eventually I'm going to go back to that league, and they're going to be in it, and I want to have the kits there, ready and ready to go. Um, but yeah, so the Milan... Um, and the Norwich, I don't know whether we'll do them as Milan and Norwich yet because I do have Milan and Norwich in my collection. Um, the Birmingham is going to go back to being a Birmingham because it is the only Birmingham I've got. I just wasn't happy with it. Basically, the Birmingham was, I think it was a Birmingham, but it didn't have a very big middle stripe or it didn't have any middle stripe. It wasn't me that bought it. This was, I don't know, like 15 years ago, I think, maybe. Um, I put a middle stripe on it, I then made it bigger, um, which I wasn't happy with it, you could really see the lines, it was messy, so I thought, Jack, do you know what, let's start all over again. So that one's going to be going back into a Birmingham, it does have a lot of blue shadow on it, which I will show you guys in a minute. The rest of them, to be fair, all cleaned up really nicely. Um, the Darlington and the Northampton, especially because they were Ref 21s originally before there were uh, blank figures, that's what we used to use, Ref 21s rebased, so they cleaned up really nicely. These were just a load of white um, spare figures. We had a couple of Man Cities in there, 
a few other little random ones, but they're going to go onto the knowledge now, and we will show you that now. Roll it. So, as I said, this is the last team to go into their bases. Um, all we did with all the others was just clean up the bases of any old glue marks. Um, so we're going to go through that with you guys now. are done um you might have noticed got the old plaster on the finger um it's not because i stabbed myself in the finger actually it's because i had to do a um a covid19 test today um i was selected to do it for whatever reason and uh yeah i did it so that's why i've got the old plaster on the old finger i babied up big time as well i hate having anything to do with needles except tattoos actually tattoos don't phase me at all although i'm always worried when they first start um but yeah anything with needles even a little finger prick test i babied up big time um so yeah with these guys then we're going to do exactly the same as we've done with the ones that you can't quite see yet but we're just going to adjust the camera and uh show you what they all look like so here we go then just got to get these figures into these bases as i said this norwich team was absolutely battered you saw them figures earlier on um in this video broken all over the place the bases are in absolutely brilliant condition um I think this guy's gonna need a little bit of cleaning up. That's fine. But yeah, so what we're gonna do with these, as we said, this is video one um, for all of the series we're gonna do. I need to trim a little bit of the bar on this bad boy. So yeah, what happens a lot of the time when you end up changing um, figures into bases is sometimes the bars will be slightly too wide. Um, and all I do is, to be fair, I think that might be what's going on with this guy. Let's just have another little look here. Yeah, he's got a little bit of something extra going on down here so just a case of cleaning it up you know um shaving little bits of plastic off to make him fit make that bar a little bit smaller get him in there we can get him in there got a little bit of a twist in this bar as well so he's been a little bit of a pain but we'll get him in there don't worry no concern here um but yeah so when you are restoring figures, he does not want to play ball, this geezer. Oh, there we go. Is he in? He's still not in. As I said, this I'm going to come back to him in a minute. But yeah, so sometimes you'll find them bars are just a little bit too big. Like this one's just got a little bit big on the end there. Just need to take a tiny bit off. Not even hardly anything. Just a little shave on the edge would just make him narrow enough to fit in there again and remember like these figures weren't made for these bases in the sense like they weren't the original ones um this guy is and you'll also find as well especially if they've used a the glue on it what can sometimes happen is the glue can like have a real negative effect like that guy's gonna need something out as well some of these i'll do off camera but just wanted to blast through them while i spoke to you guys as we sit here you can see them going nicely back into their box and um, hopefully we're going to get away with it <laughs> no issues but yeah so sometimes there's another little tip for you you just need to take a little bit off the edge just to make it fit again and we are well on our way to having a super good team on green bases yellow inners which i'm excited about I just don't know who it's going to be yet, but we'll have that little journey together. This is all about restoring some heavyweight teams, you know. A lot of the stuff we do on this channel is brand new, brand spankers. Easy to do stuff. Um, well, that says it's easy, but, you know, everything's already ready for you. This is, I wanted to show you guys a little bit more of the sort of repair work that you have to do. And when you're restoring stuff, 
Um, I see he, he is a real issue. Does he even fit in there? Yeah, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of work on this guy. Um, we'll come back to him and we'll get him in there and then we'll just talk about the last few teams in there. As you can see there, that is Norwich all ready to go. All the yellow team, the uh, green bases and the yellows, they're all ready to go. Northampton Town, hello. Northampton Town, one of them's just taken a dive, maybe he doesn't want to be part of the team. Um, with this one, there's a couple of basement, uh, base replacements in there uh, from what we originally had, just because they were a little bit, they weren't very good, basically. So that one we're gonna go through as well. There's another one trying to get away there. Darlington, okay, that's gonna get done. Really looking forward to this one. Um, it was a tidy looking side before I stripped it. It's gonna look even better this time. Milan, the red and black. Um, again, not sure what we're gonna do with it. I do have an AC Milan now, but we'll find something cool to do with this one. A couple of replacement figures in there, but we'll cover this in a bit more detail on the separate video for this team. And then finally, as I said, Birmingham City, a lot of blue shadow still on those figures, but because we're doing it as the same team, it doesn't really matter. That is gonna be the end of this episode then, guys, the hub episode for our next sort of set of restorations. We've got five teams there we're gonna get through at some point. Um, as I said, remembering that we're dotting it in and around all the other stuff we've got to do, um, but I felt like we needed to get some restorations on the channel, some new, different stuff for you guys to see, and that's why we've gone with it. Um, that's where we're at at the moment. Please don't forget to have a look at the merch that we've got coming. Our t-shirts still aren't here yet, but here I am in the westwood.ts basic Madrid white t-shirt. We've got the westwood.ts color t-shirt right here. Um, super comfy, basic wear, really nice. I like them. Um, I need to go pick that Northampton guy back up off the floor. So until the next one, guys, stay safe.